the first time I saw 3X3, I was super intrigued. It looked completely different from 5-on-5, five five, more physical, faster paced, an exciting game to watch, which I think is great for people who don't know basketball and they want to watch something. I knew I was about to leave the 5-on-5 five five team just because I had a great experience, but I thought that it was time to go. I knew uh, this was an Olympic sport and it's another great opportunity to be back at the Olympics. And so it's a challenge that I wanted to pursue with my sister and it looks like a lot of fun. For me, it was definitely Steve. He like has kind of built it in Edmonton and brought awareness to Canada from playing in the World Tour. So that's the first time I watched 3x3. And then from being in France, it was huge the last couple of years and the amount of tournaments they were starting and the amount of players that were playing in the summers. Pretty much all of the French team we've played against uh, in the French League and the LFB. So yeah, we were familiar with them and we're like, oh, if they can do it, we can do it. <laughs> Well, we're lucky we were half the team already, so <laughs> that limited uh, the number of people we had to find. But it was tricky actually finding teammates who were available to play and who wanted to jump on board with it because it was kind of crazy. It was last minute putting our team together right before the women's series basically started. The Canadian style of five on five it kind of suits how 3x3 runs. And so we saw that as a huge advantage on our style of basketball and our rhythm and our um, unity on the court. It's really cool. Yeah, we, uh, we started at the bottom. <laughs> we started very new to the game, new to each other, like when it, you just meet someone the day before and you play against France, one of the best teams. Um, but just to see our team, like, okay, after a tournament, go home and work out and come back and we're still making progress. Mm -hmm. It's really like hopeful going forward to what women's 3x3 can look like. It can look like a Novi Sad and a Piran playing against each other on a world tour, like great teams playing basketball. One of the highlights for me is being able to travel to cities that I haven't been to yet, like Prague, and just seeing the environment of 3x3 in public places, where there are so many fans who stop as they walk past. You can see that it's such an exciting sport, and no matter if it's men's or women's, people are gonna stop to watch. I think I like the uh, Bucharest event. The first one, too, was very memorable. I broke my hand, so it was <laughs> like, <laughs> yay, 3x3! <laughs> Bucharest because we actually lost the first game of that tournament so I don't think we quite have 15 wins in a row like we won Prague undefeated come into Bucharest and lose our first game and we're like oh crap we haven't made we have, we're not anywhere we won one tournament yeah. um, and just to see like our team ran over everyone the rest of that tournament even Russia when we saw them again okay we're pretty good but we have to play as a team so it was just a good team moment to go through something like that and then come out much better. It was really cool to play on Canadian soil and the fans are cheering for you specifically, like Team Canada. I mean, they stayed in like the cold rain to watch us win the final. Like, <laughs> I might have gone home, but <laughs> this day we felt good and that was weird, you know. <laughs> We're like, why do we feel so good? Yeah. Why oh, we didn't rest it. We didn't travel 15 hours. It was a cool scene, like they had the food trucks, they had the men's event, they had the break dancing, and they made it like a good experience for mm -hmm. the fans, I think, which is an important aspect of 3x3. So, I mean, it's a bonus of having an event in your own country, and hopefully we can have more of these mm -hmm. in the coming years. Mm -hmm.